another fine morning on the mountain we got snow on the top of the peaks around here hasn't made its way down here yet um, got good news we uh, we're getting signed off on uh, lot one which is like 10 acres so we're just doing a little bit more cleanup I got a haul these big giant ones they're a little big for my uh, forwarder but it's been handling them pretty good got frost all over them brisk 26 today well, alrighty guys we'll uh, set you guys up on the uh, chest cam and um, get to work start loading these big boys up some of these real big ones for one of the property owners. too fast or they try and go right through the cab but I do like handling the big ones over the little eight footers seems like uh, they're a lot easier to work with another one I'll be saving for one of the property owners oh that's a heavy boy Oh, you wanna believe? 
I fit all the other ones on it. My log deck's just not long enough. Can't wait to get that uh, Elephant King. All this should sit on it perfectly. Well, the trusty steed out. We'll get, we'll cut this big one right here. Try not to hurt ourselves. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll set you up. That's what you gotta do when they're too big. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go put my chainsaw away down the hill. I wish I had a little uh, bracket or bar where I could hold my chainsaw and, uh, on the tractor, but that ain't happening. Now I gotta hike down the hill. See you guys in a little bit. Well, got her all cleaned up, loaded on the log deck. I'm gonna go take it down to the property owner's log stack. He says he wants to uh, make some tongue and groove out of it for his cabin underneath his deck. The roof of the deck, I should say. Got a pretty neat log cabin up here. Probably do something pretty similar. Probably not log cabin, but log timber frame. Well, last little pile of logs, and then it's just clean up with the masticator.
<laughs> now that's skill. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but I just flung my grapple to reach this. Ha <laughs> ha. 